Well, SpaceX's Starship rocket gets permission to lift off, hopefully, the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, granting SpaceX permission to launch its Starship rocket. Regulators saying that the rocket has met all safety, environmental, policy, and financial requirements. This coming after the Starship rocket exploded during its first launch attempt back in April. More on this. Inez Ferre joining us here. Inez, a huge step here for the company. A huge step. This is so exciting because tomorrow is supposed to be that second launch. So this is significant. The test flight follows that first test flight, which Shauna was mentioning in April, which after a few minutes, that rocket exploded. It self-destructed in midair. The test, though, had been dubbed successful by industry watchers. They learned a lot from that flight test. There was damage to the launch pad. That's been fixed. They had some modifications that they had to do, some environmental concerns as well. So they had to reduce some sound waves and vibrations for this next upcoming test. And they had to pass a safety review from the FAA. Friday, tomorrow morning, a two-hour window starting at 8 a.m. Eastern in Boca Chica, Texas. That is where the launch will take place. Now, Starship consists of first the first stage booster called Super Heavy uh, and the upper stage spacecraft called Starship. So if all goes well as planned, Super Heavy will come down in the Gulf of Mexico not too long after the launch and the Starship upper stage that will almost reach orbital velocity. Then it'll uh, go down, splash down down near Hawaii in the ocean. So the rocket is designed to be, by the way, fully reusable. And this is very significant. It's important because Starship is supposed to take American astronauts back to the moon in 2025. That's part of NASA's Artemis uh, program. And then the big ultimate goal is to take people to Mars. It's not designed to carry 100 people to Mars. The uh, NASA wants to be able to take people to Mars in early 2030s. But if anything we know about space travel, about the space technology, is that there are always delays. We've also seen reports of Starlink spinning off as an IPO. What do we know about that, Inez? Yeah, there was a report from Bloomberg earlier this week saying that Starlink, that the company was going to be, it's uh, part of SpaceX, by the way, that they were taking initial steps to prepare Starlink to eventually go public and that that IPO could be delayed to 2025. Then Elon Musk on X had said that that report was false. But look, the idea of uh, spinning out Starlink, which is the unit which has uh, uh, satellites all over um, and to provide internet connectivity, fast internet connectivity to remote areas, that that unit would be spun off for an IPO. That's been floating around for years now. So the question is, when will that happen? Uh, it's, it's estimated by some reports that next year, Starlink is bringing in $10 billion in sales. So uh, that is a hefty amount. Also, Starlink just had uh, signed a contract with the government of Mexico for $90 million to provide internet connectivity. Uh, for people in Mexico. So when that happens, though, there are industry watchers that are saying when Starlink goes public, mm. this will be a huge catalyst for anything that's space related as well. Because if you think that people are gung ho for Tesla, if, if, that there's Tesla fans out there, there's certainly also space fans out there as well. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, especially given the fact that Elon Musk has really been helm. outspoken about whether or not he would take some of his other companies public, um, especially given his chicken with the SEC in the past and run-ins there. Thanks so much for breaking this down for us, covering all things in the space, space, and as for Ray. <laughs> Thank you.